for the phones if you guys want to crowd in. I'm clean. I've been tested many times. So. Um, so basically, the phone functions are hello, right? So pick up the phone. Um, this is going to show your extension number. This is your personal extension. So they're going to be like 1,000 through 1,026 or whatever. If you wanted to call somebody, I'm sure we'll put out a phone list eventually, but you could call, you could dial, you know, 1,004, hit the dial button, pick up the phone. That'll make it dial or hit pound if you just wait till time out. So when you dial, it's like a cell phone, right? It doesn't know you're done dialing. When you put in the numbers on your cell phone, it doesn't automatically dial. You have to hit the dial button. Mm -hmm. Same thing with this. If you do push in the numbers and just wait, it will dial. But what I like to do is I type in the numbers, pound tells it to dial. Mm -hmm. So you can do that. Or if you type in the numbers and pick up the handset. So if you dial the numbers without holding the handset and then pick it up, it'll force the dial. It'll dial eventually, but just so that you know, like, why is this dialing? Names too, like yeah, we can, we can put names on there also once we get it all set. All right. So once I have the list, I can go remotely and just yeah. put names so that it looks proper. Um, and these arrow buttons, um, when I set up speed dials, which I'll do for all the phones, you can arrow over and you'll see um, all the extensions, you know, five on each side for like four pages or whatever, right? So you'll see everybody's extensions, you'll see their names, and then it'll be red or green, right? If they're on the phone, blinking red if the phone's ringing, or green if they're not on the phone. So, you know, you'll know if they're on the phone talking or whatever. It's, that's uh, just a nice thing. Over here is the parking lot. So currently I've got it configured for park uh, 701 through 705, and that is the universal hold, right? So if I call in and I wanna talk to um, Nick or anybody else, you'd be like, yeah, good luck. Okay, I'm gonna park ya. And then now, whenever you do find Nick, he can pick up any phone, press that park button, 701, or pick up any phone and dial that number, 701, 72, and you'll be connected to that person, okay? So it'll be really easy if, if you can't handle the call and you have to message somebody to take care of it, just park them and then, you know, hey, Billy, pick up 702 or whatever. Okay, does that make sense? And you said once the parking lot is picked up, the next one. Yeah, it clears. It clears. So it'll start. There's, we'll show you that. But when I make a call and you're talking to somebody, there'll be a call park button. This button here will say call park. You just hit that. And if you listen to the voice, it'll say, 701 or call park 701 or something like that and then the phone will hang up okay and then you'll see the light turn red and um it might even possibly show their you know caller id and their phone number um depending on uh the service and then that's it so now you can message them and then once somebody picks that up now that call is on their phone and that parking spot is free again so i made five of them because you guys are extremely busy but you might not ever even use 703. You know what I mean? It all depends on how fast people pick up calls. You do have 20 of them. So even though I'm showing you five of them on the screen, like if all five are red and you go to call park somebody, it'll be 706 and then 707. And it'll tell you that in the voice. So that's kind of the most important thing is that like, you know, if these are all red and you hit call park to listen to the voice to see where you tell you, them to pick it up. How do you park it? I'll show you. Oh. So I'll call in right now and we'll just, we'll do that demo. I have a temp number. Um, hopefully that works. You know, it did one day. I think it's this one. Put on speakerphone. You can hear my beautiful voice. Thank you for calling Smith Pharmacy. Please press it's horrific, one isn't it? to refill a prescription or to leave a Here, we'll do that, actually. Message. So if we press one, this is what they're going to hear. I don't know if you've shown yeah. them that, but so yeah. this now call forwards to Digital pharmacy. Digital pharmacy. So they're, they're going to have options. I think you're going to customize that even more. Yeah. But you can't customize the, some of those things. Some like, of the things, but like, like I think the opening message you yeah. might be able to. Yeah, the opening message, but I wasn't going to do opening message because I Because we're another, doing it on yours. I want to have another opening yeah. message. Again. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Smith Pharmacy. Hello, Smith Pharmacy. Yeah, I know. Okay, so we'll call in. And this time what I'll do is I've got it currently just configured for zero. Please press one to refill a prescription or to leave us a detailed message. Please press zero to contact. So zero to contact. And then now I've got it configured for like five phones right now just to ring. But so it rings and we pick it up. We put on speakerphone. And then it's going to give all kinds of feedback. 
but I'm gonna mute it. Let me get it off a speakerphone. Okay. And so now we're on a call. See where the call park button is? I gotcha. So if I hit call park, I go to park, the oh, phone yeah, hangs up, and now it says remote. You know, you can't see it all, but it says so it, it's. Call park and it assigns it a, yeah, it assigns it, and, and that's hung up now. Oh, nice. So now I can go over to this other one and hit the red button. Hello. <laughs> and I can call park it again if I want and see how she tells you what extension it's on. And then it hangs up the phone, and now it's parked again. So that's basically the call part. So how do you know, I mean, we're relatively busy if somebody has to, they're putting it on park roughly at the same time. How does that person know what phone they, or what park they put it on? Because you're gonna message. So whoever parks it, it's yeah. their responsibility to listen to what parking lot it goes to, right? Okay. The voice on the phone will tell you, as soon as you hit call park, it it'll say 701. And it, it, it says it on the, seven. it starts at 712345, and it says it, in the, right, it tells yep. you which one it's on. I mean, it tells you that, but it, you know, like there's two people, yeah. it's, it's, you know, close, put it on park. It, it'll pick, it'll one automatically one. pick. So you just listen to the voice yeah. and it'll, it'll put one on 701 and one on 702. And then that's where you message and say they're on whichever one you need. So, so we could have it set it. Yeah, we're gonna do it simplified. Um, Cause we were gonna have it set where we could transfer calls to Amy transfers or wherever. Yeah. But I think we're just gonna put on park and then office channel. We can always change it down easy to, yeah. And you can transfer. Transferring is a few more buttons, so that's why I like to, to change people from um, to do this. So let me call in again, and I'll kind of show you the transfer. We'll see what it's currently. There's so many transfer options. So there's blind transfer where you just transfer it and it goes. There's attended transfer where, hey, Amy, Mike's on the phone. You want to talk to him? You know. So there's several options there. And you can leave voice messages yeah. on certain phones. But we're going to try to make it so it's a universal voicemail on digital pharmacists. Otherwise, if you leave a message on the English you want to hear So if I pick up the phone, I'm talking, there's call park here, mm -hmm. and new call. That's if you want to like start a three way call. And there's call transfer. So if I hit transfer, now it's got options, okay? So now hitting the transfer button puts me on hold. I'm listening to music right now. So it puts the person on hold. Oops. Yeah, she's we still have the same music? No, this is, we can put whatever you want, but. Oh, let's get yelled at for that. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta put some new music on. I was thinking disturbed or yeah, tell. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get yelled at recently? No. no. So basically, when you hit transfer, you got some, you're talking to somebody, you hit the transfer button. Now you can pick blind transfer or attended transfer. Let's say I just want to get rid of it and send it to, you know, whoever's extensions at 1004. Blind transfer, 1004, I'm sorry, 1004, blind transfer, and it's gone. So now I'm hung up, and now 1004 is ringing, right? So, and, the, and I'm ringing, right? So now if I pick this up, hello, so. And if you don't pick it up, it just keeps ringing? Yeah, it just keep ringing on that phone. And if that phone doesn't have voicemail, we can either set a ring timeout or we can set it to, you know, go somewhere else or whatever. We'll probably just stick with the call parking for now, I think. Um, I think call parking is probably the most structured way of doing it. it it's a really good handoff yeah. compared to blind transferring it. And, you know, who knows if they're going to get it or if they're going to lose the... Um, it's really no different than saying line one or line two, yeah. you know what I mean? It, that's exactly what it is. So in voice over IP, call parking is the same as lines because there's no more lines. So here's the other bad news. How many phone lines do you currently have coming in? Um, four. Four? Yeah. Like four main lines only? Three main lines, one doctor line, but we okay. have all coin lines only. Yeah. Um, okay, well, right now, so like literally 100 people on this new system can call you at one time. Yeah. So you be careful what you wish for because... <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna organize it so if so many calls are coming in that some of them will get transferred to the office or they go to the voicemail or something. Yeah, and that's what that's what we'll so do with that ranks. IVR, right? Yeah. So it's a good thing that the first time you call in, they're gonna get this automated message that first of all, if they wanna refill a prescription, yeah. we're gonna get rid of them all together, hopefully, and send them to, to the automated system, yeah. right? Um, second, we could have, like, if they want home health, yeah. you know, boom, now, now that segregates the call. Um, and then whatever other options you want. Yeah. And we can 
like make the message in the beginning yeah. like hey we don't have any high dose flu shots today so yeah. your question is answered like you right could here, right? you can yeah. so yep. we can change it on a daily basis you can you show me how to change yeah that too. it's really easy to do yeah. once once i get you into the actual phone system yeah. interface and write up a couple steps it's you can do it from any phone and it's it's and really I quite a couple, simple. I was going to say if you want to talk to long term care, press three. Mm -hmm. and, then and then we can have it where it rings four. five times and if it, then it'll bounce to the correct. main lines. Um, so we have a lot of things to go through. Yeah. We'll okay. figure it out. Yeah, and it, it'll kind of be a work in progress as we kind get there. Starting generic and then yep. building on it. Yep. So just go through these buttons real quick. This is the voicemail button. If you do a voicemail, I think I've got it configured. So if you don't. If you don't, it won't do anything. This is the pause button. Now that will put them um, up here on your line blinking. And that's like, hey, just a second, hit pause. You're, you're running around swearing at somebody or throwing things around and then, okay, you hit the button again and talk to them. On your own phone, yep. So I don't know why they did pause, but I'm thinking VCR pause, so whatever. This is the call transfer button. It'll also show up, you know, it also shows up here, but it's there also. If you have a headset, this is a headset button. Um, this is a dual button. It's do not disturb. So if you don't want your phone to ring, you can hit the, the, the mute button. That's actually the mute button. But if you're not on a call and the phone's hung up, it's a do not disturb and you can't miss it because of that giant red oh, thing. Great. It used to be a tiny little symbol just and then people would be like, why aren't I getting any calls? Um, if you're on a call and you want to mute it, that's when you would press that button and, and you'll see a little mute button um, show up. But the ringers are three way ringers. If you're if the phone's hung up and you hit the volume, that's your ring volume. If you're on the handset, you set your handset volume. If you're on speakerphone, it's the speakerphone volume. So they're three separate programmable levels. Okay. Um, if I tell you to reboot the phone, that's what this menu's for. You can hit the center button. It, it is a little Linux computer. Um, you can go over with the arrows to reboot and then hit yes or no or whatever. And, that's basically any you wouldn't really do anything else in there um all the phones are capable of bluetooth so like if you've got a car bluetooth that you like they are capable of it if the phone rings it should ring in your headset you can hit the button and answer and hang up the phone so if somebody in the organization is in a position where that works for them you know their workflow you can do that you can pair any you know any bluetooth that you'd use on a normal cell phone to it you can also on the back there's a headset jack for a, you know, a normal Plantronics, you know, telephone headset, um, you know, a regular fancy corded or cordless. It shows a call history. So any num, you know, and it's got all your calls, missed calls, dialed calls, answer calls. So you'll see anything direct that came to you. Um, this comes through the computer, so if the computer's off, the phone won't work, right? Obviously, or? If the computers are out, like if your internet is down, then the phones are going to be down, but you've got backup internet, right? Mm -hmm. So I'll work with Shane. We'll do some tests to make sure that if it does fail over, that the phones continue to work. Now, if a network switch goes down, well, then a certain section of phones will be down. You know what I mean? That type of thing. Um, normally what I do in a catastrophic down, let's say for some reason everything's down, then what we can do is have your main number go to somebody's cell phone, you know? Or I can have it go to one of my cloud um, systems that aren't here that are in a data center and it can just be like you know hey we're here we're having technical phone issues please try us back in an hour or something you know what I mean so there's there's some ways to triage it um, most people want the cell phone you know or a group of cell phones or whatever we can do that type of stuff if in a down situation it shouldn't so um, speaker phone button uh, this is a dial button also, instead of pound, you can hit that. Um, other than that, there's 10,000 other things that you can do. But normally the buttons are duplicate, right? So like transfer button, it'll also show up here. You'll have the one called park button, um, the parking lot. Dialing, um, you can, if it's a local number, you can dial seven digits like my cell phone, 450-6961, because it's a 920. So you can, you can dial four digits. And it's ringing um if it's you know you can dial one you don't have to dial one so you know if it's an 888 number just you can dial 888 you can dial one um 911 should work i'll test that later um that's important but we'll test it anybody have any questions is there anything that i mean that's the real basics of it it's 
This is so normally what I train. One Hello? Um, we cr I don't, so there is one phone number. We can, do, we can do multiples, but we're porting all the numbers that you currently have. Yeah. So we'll have all those numbers, but normally, see, on a voice over IP system, I don't have to have seven numbers right. to get seven calls to come in. And that's why it'd be nice just to have maybe the 788. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because people get really confused and they don't answer. Properly. Correct. Yeah. So on outbound calls, the only number you're going to see is that 788 number. I've already got that set. So, so even though I'm not hooked up to that number, yeah. if I call from here, yeah. that's the number you see because in voice over IP, I could make that Donald Trump's number yeah. or yeah. whatever. You know, yeah. That's one law they've never passed. Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, I have too much fun with it. Yeah. This is the White House. Yeah. Anyways, long story. Yeah. But um, yeah, so to start with, I'll take that block of numbers and if you call any of them, it'll ring in. But anybody calling out will only show your main number. Okay, so then over time, nobody will be calling those numbers, yeah. Yeah. right? Um, that's that a good question, sense. though. Yeah. Yeah, other than that. Because we'll, the doctor's line, lines one through three, the fax line is going to be untouched. So there's some other stuff we can do, too. Yeah, the fax line we're not porting, yeah, right? That's up to us. Because you're, yeah, you're doing that on, that's working that. for you, so. Um, we're not touching the fax. Yep. What if they leave a message? Are they leaving a message on here? On uh, digital pharmacists, it pops up all. Oh, that's a different thing that we can okay. go over to. So then you, you mail doesn't exist anymore? You mail is going to get phased out eventually, but it's still going to exist. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to have two sets of voicemails we can watch. Um, so actually, I wonder if we should have a meeting on Friday morning before. Or, I think it would be a good idea. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, yeah. people are not going to know. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of hangups. Yeah. And Jody will be here Friday. I'll be here Friday. Um, Shane took off, um, so we have Pam actually for that, um, but he took off, so in case there's a problem. Mike said he'll be available all day for yep. I'm, I'm available asking. remotely. <laughs> um, but yeah. Yeah, there won't be, I mean, it'll go pretty smooth, so, you know, worst case, they'll call back. The nice thing is, if we yeah. decide, <laughs> trust um, me, <laughs> if we decide to switch things, we can customize anything, so we can, so yeah. I could send Stone all the set up. Yep. Do they have to do something different to my phone because of my multiple carrier numbers? Um, so that number will stay, right? We'll yeah. port that number, and then that number will ring wherever, if it's only your phone or whatever we need yeah, to do. I can idea. do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah we need to do that. Phone. Yeah, so that's no problem at all. All right. Yep. That's a good idea, actually. Yeah, all right. Yep, it shouldn't be a problem at all. And then the facts, we have a different facts for long term here. Um, the facts all right. Well, we or, only give everyone like. Yeah, all right, yeah. I gotcha. Yeah, so outbound won't matter. Like, if, if you guys are faxing out and don't want us, you know, if nobody's faxing into you or they're faxing yeah. your main. Yeah, we just have yeah. them do the main so that goes yeah. through. Yeah, it goes through the system, yeah. right? Yeah. And that's with, uh, that's, that's up with. Ducks, up yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we don't have to worry about that. But we'll set you up so that you can fax out if you need to yeah. physically yeah. fax out. Yeah. Um, that's not a problem. The AT&T, the analog fax line, we're keeping that, I think, for the credit card, or for the gift card things. Yeah. Yeah, we'll keep that. Yeah. We have to keep that for the time being. Yeah, and, you know, I, I would recommend any credit cards that are on phone lines. I mean, you could you can call, and normally the readers, the companies, will switch them to Ethernet. Yeah. And so then you won't have to even rely on we a phone line. Yeah, it seems like the credit card switch is a good idea. Really yeah, because normally the readers themselves have a phone and an Ethernet yeah. port on back, and they might have to do like a software update or something. Yeah. But then now you can like get rid of that analog line, which is probably costing you thirty to forty bucks a month. Yeah. So that's a good idea. Yeah. So we should do something for you. Because the main thing is uh, putting the calls on hold will be different, um, and then we'll have some patient questions, I guess. Some things are gonna pop in our they're in a queue if they punch the numbers in. And then we'll have to watch a digital pharmacist voicemail in the U-mail. So how does that work? Do we get uh, alerts at certain? No, no. Well, we can set it up that way, but I don't. I mean, does it like blink up a little line? Does it blink or something like that? Or Not for the, voice so voice my voice system voice. would, but we're, yeah. we're doing it through digital pharmacist. Yeah, so like you, because you'll have a voicemail for home health or whatever. Yeah. Then you'll have, it's got a little voicemail light. So, so yeah. All right, go through that. 
Yeah, other than that, I mean, it's a phone. Yeah. And I'm always available, so I'll probably be here Friday morning. I've got, um, I'm putting in another system later in the day in the area, so. Okay, that'd be awesome. Um, I'll probably be around right away just to, to make sure. And I'll print off some cut sheets that have the basic functions right. so okay. that you have something to look at. But, you know, everybody asks me like, hey, can I have the user manual? You certainly can, right? Mm -hmm. It's that thick, it's a PDF, <laughs> and you won't understand any of it because it's crazy. I mean, it's just silly. So, um, yeah, it's, it's unlimited, customizable, however you guys want. If there's certain speed dials that you call, you know, um, we can do that. We can either do it where, like, you know, you dial four and hit pound and it'll call, you know, uh, a pharmacist place that you guys use or a provide, you know, I don't know. If there is a group of numbers that you guys universally use, we could put that in a universal speed dial list. Or I can just make it speed dials, you know, you hit page five or whatever and there's, yeah. you know, there'll be speed dials there. Up to, up to you. That stuff is, you know, stuff that normal phones can't really handle, but you know, more like a, a cell phone type of feature. So it used to have the weather. I don't know. These are more corporate phones, so like yeah. they don't they don't have the weather app on it anymore. But stuff like that. Has any ideas, let me know. So. It'll be working. You know, just be patient with it. Um, you'll hang up on people. You know, stuff will happen, but it'll it'll kind of all settle in once you, you get used to it. Um, one of the bigger complaints that I get with voice over IP systems is. Um, the quietness so sometimes like there's no ambient noise so sometimes you're on the phone it depends and it's like are you there are you there because there's just like there's no white noise or whatever yeah so the hold music the hold music on this phone system are all mp3s so like we could load up as many MP3s as you want and then it'll cycle through them or whatever. Um, I recommend over time you figure out how to do, and I don't have a service because I would have to hire people to do it, but um, over time what I would do is marketing on hold, right? So in between disturbs, you know, latest hit, you put, hey, did you know at Smith Pharmacy we currently have flu shots while they're on hold for those, you know, just little one minute ditties or whatever that rotate. Yeah. It's a little bit extra work, but yeah. if there's stuff that you're, hey, yeah. did you know we have COVID tests? Yeah. They're 98% inaccurate. <laughs> Sorry, that's just, <laughs> that's my fault. Yeah. Um, you know, so stuff like that, you know, things that are new that you want yeah. people to know about. Do you know we deliver? Or do you know that, you know, we can take care of your home health? Or, yeah. Yeah. I know. You're the pharmacy yeah. people. I'm just Lord, don't put delivery on there. Everybody yeah. 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 Sorry, we Drivers. don't offer delivery. <laughs> I'm think I, I thought I was an Omro for a minute. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't think he smokes anymore though. Oh, he I, does. I haven't been in there with him smoking in the building. In the pharmacy. Yeah. Yeah. He does. <laughs> I love Ken is a nut. Bigwood from Express Scripts and from uh, Bigwood from Network Health. And he's talking and also he's, he's smoking right on the Zoom. <laughs> right on the Zoom. <laughs> that was just like two weeks ago. Yeah. yeah. Like, he's got some big wig Express scripts and a big wig at Network Health and yeah. Uh, good. good that's hilarious actually. Yeah. yeah so he gets a pass though because it's Ken. Yeah, he always does. He can sexually harass everyone and gets away with it. I love him to death. Yeah. It's All right. unbelievable the stuff he does but it's funny I guess.